Peterson. And I'm Thomas Peterson. We're just two ordinary kids living in Southern California. And this is the story of how we dealt with a small problem we had in our neighborhood. It also deals with the age-old saying, never judge a book by its cover. Or maybe just once in a while, you should. Why did you stop? I feel like playing catch. Here, in front of this house? What are you talking about? You know who lives here? Mr. Johnson. Yeah, so? Don't you remember what the Carter sisters told us last summer? Mr. Johnson has spiders living in his brain. Yeah, his brain. That's a bunch of crap. But what about our own cousins? Mr. Johnson is a zombie. Yeah, a zombie. Oh, shut up and go out for a pass. Hey, you kid. Now, run! Don't they want their ball back? Kids these days are getting crazier by the minute. Well, I guess it's true what everyone's been saying about Mr. Johnson. You got that right. What we need is revenge. We're gonna throw Mr. Johnson a party. A party? A party he'll never forget. Oh, that kind of party. Okay, Thomas, you get on the computer and I'll get on my phone. Come up with a list of people who deliver. You got it, everyone that delivers. Let's do this. Let's do this. So what do you think? It's a pretty good list, but how are we gonna do this? That's why we're gonna call Big Eddie. Yeah? Let me speak to Big Eddie. Tell him Anna's on the line. Hey, it's for you. Me? Who is it? Some girl named Anna. Anna? Anna who? Anna who? Rexia. Anorexia? Oh, cool, let me have it. He's there, he's there. This is gonna be great. Hey, where you been hiding? Funny you should ask, but we're still here in the old neighborhood. Yeah, still here. So, you remember that Johnson guy, right? Yeah, what's up? He's still yelling and acting like an old crab to all us kids. So I decided to throw Mr. Johnson an awesome big party. You're kidding. You know the kind I'm talking about, right? Right. It's gonna be as big as the one that we threw for your bully last year. And you remember how big that was. And who could forget the look on his face when the SWAT team got there? So listen up. This is what I need from you and Frank. First off, of course we need his credit card number. Secondly, I need you to hack into the computers at the Child Protective Services. Child Protective Service? You gotta be kidding. Oh yeah and you better make sure it doesn't get traced back to any one of us. Oof, it's pretty nuts, girl. You think you and Frank can do it? I suppose. If you can pay, we can do the job. Cool, I'll text you the details. Then we're gonna go rob our dad. All right, I'll contact you later. I'm not kidding, Eddie. This is gonna rock the whole neighborhood, if not the whole town. We got a job or what? Well, we got a job, all right. And this is gonna blow up. He's in. It's totally going down. Awesome. Who could that be? Mr. Johnson? Yeah, last time I checked. 
are you? We're the Digital Lizards of Doom. We're here to rock your party, man. Hey, why don't you crawl back under the rock you came from? You got the wrong Johnson. You got the wrong house. And not to mention, Halloween was last month. Isn't this your signature? Yeah, sure looks like it, but... Well, you paid for us, so you might as well let us play. Yeah, but... So, uh, where do we set up? Good heavens, why don't you take it to the backyard and keep it to a dull roar? I don't need the neighbors thinking I'm running a freak show. Sweet, dude. Over and out. Dude, are you Mr. Johnson? I'm here for your eye exam? Yeah, well, I didn't order any eye exam. Well, why did you pay me and have me drive in from Florence? Well, go to the backyard. I think there's a lizard back there that could use one. Really? Jake from Poppy's Pizza here. I got a personal sized pizza with extra anchovies for Johnson. I didn't order any pizza, but I suppose it's paid for, right? Yup. Why don't you take it to the backyard? I think the lizards are hungry. Backyard? You got it. Good morning. I got a large pizza with pickle spears for Johnson. Backyard. Two extra, extra large, extra large pizzas with extra, extra everything for. Follow the guy that oh, was before you. Okay. Something weird's going on. Yeah, I think there's something wrong with my credit card. How do I know? Well, it all started when the lizards showed up at my door. Hello? 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 Uh, I'm looking for a Mr. Johnson. He's over there, dude. And he's real grumpy. Good morning, Mr. Johnson. Ted from Cox Catering. Oh, good grief. Ah, uh, today's menu is truly splendid. We have roast beef, uh, barbecue wings, potato salad, started veggies and dip. Uh, and our ever popular free flowing fountains of beer. All gluten free. Whatever. Oh, and I uh, suppose it's paid for. Why, of course, Mr. Johnson. Oh, good God, gravy. No, un unfortunately, we have no gravy. Howdy, partner. Oh, my God. We're from Chuck's Wild West Emporium. We're here for your line dancing lesson. Well, why don't you two pardon the mosey on out into the street, do a little dance on the double yellow lines, and if I'm really lucky, perhaps a startled driver might not swerve out of the way in time. Ah, oh, sucks. He's just joshing us, right? Right, right. Just let us know when you're ready to dance, partner. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Johnson, old boy. Finally, we meet face to face. Who the blazes are you? Well, we're your next door neighbors. Yeah, Dave and Trish. What a joker this one is. I made you one of my famous onion loaves. Oh, well, uh, put it over there on the buffet table. In case anybody's looking for a boat anchor. What a joker this one is. So what do you know about this Cox catering? Uh, give me a minute, let me look it up. Somebody just delivered four bags of black ivory coffee. Well, just put that back in the van. We can use it at the next event. Lots of reviews here with a whopping one star. Well, read one. Okay, uh, mediocre food, 
bad attitudes, and when they finally left the party, <laughs> so did all the patio furniture. <laughs> <laughs> Got some cupcakes for Johnson. Oh, okay. Um, let's put them right here. Thank you. He's in the van as well. Hello, Mr. Johnson? Yeah? It's a pleasure to meet you. I've been looking forward to this all week. For what? Who are you? Forgive me, I'm Len from the Paranormal Activity Lodge. I'm here to inspect your house for some unusual spiritual activity. The only thing that needs inspection is your head. Now go away. Wow, this man is definitely possessed. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the greatest magician in all of La Mesa, the amazing Marco. <laughs> Can I have a volunteer, please? Please, anyone, can I have a volunteer? You, sir. Pick a card. Then put your initial on it and give it back to me. Now please check your pocket for your card. It's my card, but it's the wrong initials. Would everybody please check your pockets for his card? What? Hey. 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 I got it. He's got it. Ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Marco. So what did you guys deliver? Nothing. We're here for the chicks. Yeah, the chicks. Uh, Mr. Johnson? What? I'm Janet, your tutor from the Hudson Agency. And what kind of tutor might you be? Oh, <laughs> I'm certified in advanced mathematics, political science, nuclear physics. As a matter of fact, I speak several languages fluently. Well, if you're so smart, little Miss Brainiac, answer me this. Yes? Did your parents ever have any children that lived? Well, well, how crude can one man be? Well, you ought to know. You're looking at him. Wow, that Johnson guy's a crack up. Yeah, not to mention a total chick magnet. Next party we have, he's, he's there. there. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Digital Lizards of Doom. Uh, we're here to clean up some toxic waste. Don't look at me. Talk to the guy who's throwing this shindig. Uh, we're here to clean up some toxic waste. Well, look around. Take your pick. Uh, what do you mean? I mean, this whole day has been a waste so far. Hey, why don't you guys bag me up, take me away? Well, this job was supposed to take four hours, so we'll just hang out if it's okay with you. So, uh, I paid for you guys too, right? <laughs> of course. Well, hang around. Clean up when this mess is over, huh? Hey, what's up, man? You here for your surf lessons? What's this look like, Pismo Beach? Hey, why don't you go soak your head, kook? Oh, dude, really? I even brought the hand plane.
party, Johnson. What's the occasion? Oh, I didn't throw this party. Let's just say I'm nobody's hero. Did you hear that? He's a war hero. I thought I recognized him. So what about all these people? Where did they come from? Well, let's just say, if I could find the guy that invented the internet, I'd let him have it. Did you hear that? He invented the internet. I'd be dead before I got out the front door. Cause your brother is freaking me out. And the bell Mr. Johnson, welcome to the neighborhood. We're Joe and Chris from the Welcome Wagon. And we brought you a fruitcake. Oh, you see those guys in the white suits? Yeah. Yeah, give it to them so they don't go home empty handed, you know? Why, I never. <laughs> and you probably never will. Yeah, Johnson may be a grump, but you would too if you were the tour manager of the Pope this summer. Wow, that is a lot of responsibility. Yeah, well, he did a bang-up job on the last Stones tour. Hey, Johnson, baby, we got your organ. Yeah, it's out in the truck. It's big, baby. It's real big. Yeah, well, I ain't even going there. <laughs> all right, all right, shut it down. Party's over. Job protection. We're looking for Charles Johnson. We've had some complaints from kids in the neighborhood. We gotta take you downtown for questioning. What? Oh, come on. That's Johnson. Hey, uh. <laughs> you got the wrong guy. Mr. Johnson wouldn't hurt a fly. He's a war hero. He's yeah. our hero. Yeah! Well, from the looks of this shindig, I'd have to say... Yeah. What? No way. You're kidding me. Okay, you're off the hook, Johnson. What's the deal? It's all a prank. Really? Yeah, they trace it to two cops and... Poughkeepsie, New York. What a world. Sorry, guys. Party on. Let's give it up for Mr. Johnson for throwing a rad party. Yeah! yeah! Come here. Hey, I want to talk to you. Us? Yeah, us? Hey, listen, guys. I know it was you that threw the party. And, uh, even though I had to pay for it, something wonderful happened that day. It did? Yeah. I actually made some friends. I haven't had friends in... Years. Really? Yeah. Oh, and uh, here's your ball. Hey, thanks, guys. I owe you one. Wow. You want to play ball with us? We have to go home for lunch, Thomas. Hey, uh, why not come to our house for lunch? Yeah, our mom ordered pizza from Pappy's. Well, I would be delighted, my friends. Cool, let's go. Wake up, wake up, it's time to take your
Ha, 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 ha.